Hello, hello, fam. Welcome. My name is Magdalene Jaddy. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time, hanging out. And come visit me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm always there too. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. So you guys, I'm ready. Had my cafecito going. I just went to Sephora and got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I am in the shade 40N. These are supposed to be adjustable shades and whatnot. But wait, wait. Let's prime the skin first. I did my skincare already, maybe about 35 minutes ago. I woke up a little later today and I just started a little later because I knew I was gonna have to go to Sephora at 10 when they open. Okay, I'm gonna prime with this NYX primer. You guys know it's a blurring and gripping primer. So let's just... My skin's really glowy because I have my sunscreen on. You guys know I use the Kula. And I also started using the Tula. Is it called Tula? I'll show you guys right here. I like both actually. So we're gonna let this sit for a little, dry down, and I'll be back. All right, fam, here we are. This is how the tinted moisturizer looks in Rare Beauty's typical box. And ooh, I have the shade 40 Neutral. It has this like this dent here, comes in a one ounce bottle. I like that it's small, like it's compacted very small, like in a small container. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's shake it up. I can't really hear if it's like super watery. All right, and it comes in a squeezy tube. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it has a little umph to it. You see how it's moving? Does it smell? No, no scent. Okay, let's see. You guys know I like to actually mix it. Oh, wow. Now that I'm touching it, it has some umph to, to it. These are adjustable shades which is why they only have, I believe, 24 shades. And it's light coverage, which it looks very light. But it's like melting into the skin, though. Hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah. So we're not expecting full coverage anything because it literally tells us that. And as we can see, it's pretty lightweight. But how lightweight? You know, I like to blend it with my hand to show you guys. And with the hand, it doesn't, the fingers don't really absorb product. So a lot of times, especially with these lightweight products, you can see how the coverage really is as opposed to like applying it with a, a sponge. I like it. It's a tint. Yeah, it's literally what's in the name. It is a true tinted moisturizer. So this is the before and after. It is blurring the skin a little bit. It's a little warm though. This is a neutral undertone. I feel like it's a little warmer than expected. I thought I was shade 38N, I think. But it looked light in Sephora. But you know Sephora lighting, it'd be all weird. But no, I kind of like this shade. This shade's good. So let's turn off the lights and see. It's very skin-like, right? And I'm not mad at it. You know I love a good full coverage. But today we're going to do this, I guess. It looks good. It looks good. So what I'm going to do is apply this side on with my hands also so we get the same result. And I'll give you all the info about the product. The new Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20 retails for $29. I am in the shade 40 Neutral. Comes in 24 shades. This is a flexible tinted moisturizer that immediately blurs skin with glowy light to medium coverage all while hydrating and protecting skin from the sun. The coverage is light. The finish is radiant. This is free of parabens, vegan, and cruelty free. I like that it's just very lightweight and that's what you're going to get. What I want to do is because I still have some left. Let's let this dry for maybe like eight, eight minutes. I saw the number eight on the like timer thing. Okay, let's let it dry for maybe like two minutes and then let's add and see how much we could build up. I don't think it oxidizes either. And look how it's just like warming up. Glowy goddess. Hopefully without the texture. I always find that glowy anything is me emphasizing everything. Today's gonna be a long day. I'm meeting up with my girlfriends. This is seven years in the making. I used to work with them. This was way before I had social media and anything. So I'm really excited to see my girls. Oh my God. Okay, let me get my sponge and let's just add on the neck. I don't really want to bring the sponge to the face. The coverage is good. It's lightweight, but good, right? Like this. It's a little on the warmer side. Should we? Okay, wait. Actually, let's see. Because you see like these spots I have here? I don't want it to like get rid of coverage. Okay. I kind of like it. 
It's almost 11 o'clock. This is how the skin looks. Let's let it dry down for the 20 minutes. If you're not familiar, what I do is just let the foundation sit on the skin without touching it, without putting powders, concealers, just to see how it warms up, especially when it comes to a tinted moisturizer and lighter weight foundation. And yeah, I'll be back. All right, fam, it's been a little while <laughs> because I was editing. So the skin looks very radiant. It feels kind of wet, kind of stuck down to the skin. You know what I mean? Here. It just looks like skin with good coverage, I will say. Look at that radiance though you know cool so what i'm gonna do is just add a little bit of concealer we're gonna keep the face super simple today and i'll be back i'm gonna go in with this maybelline fit me powder very very lightly and instead of using my puff i'm gonna use the sponge so we get a very light coverage as we're setting our skin and i'm doing this with the sponge because the sponge kind of soaks up a little bit of the product and it doesn't make the powder go on super powdery on the skin. I like to do this on the skin, but I like to use my puff in my under eye area because it just gives it that smooth look. So you see how like the powder is just melted in. It doesn't look like we have a layer of powder. And let me show you. I also used the sponge because the skin was a little bit wet and it kind of feels wet. I'm just tapping over without getting more powder. Setting the skin is very important and take your time with it because that's really what's gonna make everything last a good time. Look at the skin. What? Powder? I swear. Didn't I tell you guys on my VIB video, like powder is a game changer. Look how natural this looks. Natural. Natural. Truly like your skin, but better. Ah! I'm excited. Like I wasn't excited, but then I am. I'm not even gonna do bronzer today. We're just about to do some blush and call it a day. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. As a first impressions, I'm very impressed. I think the skin looks very nice. It truly adapts to the skin, very much your skin. So like that's the vibe we're getting. You see, like you guys saw, I just put blush and that's it. That's it, super fast, super straight to the point. I really like how when we let it sit, I don't know, it did something else to the skin. I feel like it blurred it a little bit more and it gave us a little more coverage. But let's see, you guys know we have oily skin on this channel and let's see if we look at that at the end of the day, who knows? Of course, I'm gonna be here all day long and tomorrow. So let's jump from the window so we can see the deal. Okay, bye. Look at the skin in daylight. Is that a patch? Who cares, we're gonna leave it. I just like how natural and lightweight literally feels like I have nothing on the skin, you see? It's like your skin, but we just have like more of an even tone, you know? So yeah. Okay, see you later. Damn, I'm back. Oh my god, it is midnight. Do you want to show you how the skin was looking? Maybe at around four o'clock, and honestly, the skin was looking so freaking good. Super blurred. We have a good amount of pigment. Let me just show you guys how the skin looks. Skin looks freaking good. Very, very happy how the skin tint's looking. I mean, the skin looks pretty good. We have a good amount of pigment considering it's midnight. I just wanted to show you really quick. Okay, bye. Hello, hello. Welcome back to day number two. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like a new woman. Last night, I was looking a little bit gastada, but the tinted moisturizer looks so freaking good. Let's not wear primer and see how this works today. So let's shake her up. This bottle reminds me of the MAC tinted moisturizer. I'll put a picture here. But okay, so here, let's get a little bit. And you know how yesterday we added it with the hand? Let's just go right in with a brush and no primer. We don't have to use a paddle brush because this is already a thin formula, so we don't have to thin it out. It's thin, but I felt yesterday like the longer it's on the skin, the better it gets. I was looking at my skin like what at around five or six. It was looking really freaking good. You see how it kind of just adds to the skin? Ooh, wee. Just like super easy. And let's just get in here. Look. Ooh. You see that like smoothness the tinted moisturizer gives the skin? Just looks so smooth and just even. Just very lightweight. It feels so good. But okay. It is 7 at 33 a.m. Let's just wait around and see how this warms up and I'll be back. 
all right fam i'm back it's been about 20 minutes so yeah it's almost eight o'clock skin looks so glowy actually less wet i feel like today than yesterday huh okay but look like look at the skin it just looks really nice i think i like it with the brush yesterday was good but dipping on the tinted moisturizer i don't know i like it huh looks good but okay cool so i'm just gonna finish up no no no. i'm gonna put concealer set and then i'll get so like yesterday i'm gonna set the skin with the sponge because i really liked how it looked i'm gonna use this makeup forever setting powder and also use a very light layer like we did yesterday i love how it looks just like your skin just like yesterday but i don't know i think i'm loving the brush application better today than the fingers what you think what you think okay so what i'm gonna do is do the same thing yesterday put blush and just finish up my face so i'll be back skin skin nothing like just combing your hair makes you feel good so oh i forgot to i want to tell you guys i'm wearing the purple blush i told you guys about when i reviewed these blushes and look how pretty it looks it's not too intense and it's like the perfect little you know shade so i like it and let me show you because i only have blush on look at this skin look how just natural it looks i wasn't sure like especially today since we're not wearing primer and we applied it a little bit differently but i'm a little scared because we don't have a primer i don't know how the skin will look and if we're gonna look at styles at the end of the day so let's see but so far i like it i think it looks really good so let's jump in front of the window so you guys can see how the skin looks in daylight and i'll see you later bye i just love how it looks <laughs> like like your skin this is what a tinted moisturizer should look and feel on the skin like it should feel like nothing but have a good little bit of coverage kind of give us like a little pick me up not full coverage none of that it's just like skin and blush you know but okay bye. hello fam i'm back you guys it is 6 30 but of course if you want to show you how the tinted moisturizer is looking in daylight i took this footage about three hours ago and it skin looking very very beautiful very radiant very similar to how we started off here we are now fam close to 12 hours later look at this skin skin i keep saying skin but that's literally what i see is like your skin being enhanced beautifully naturally in a very light way you can see i'm very oily i do have oily skin i'll always have an oily mug at the end of the day if i don't touch up i typically don't touch up i just spit but when i do reviews i really don't touch up so you can see how everything warms up at the end of the day am i oily yes do i look gastada no not at all i think i just look very refreshed i love 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 this it's so good it blurs it gives you a nice lightweight look it just feels so comfortable that's like what i can think of these two days i know my last night's check-in i was a mess i was low-key still drunk so don't mind me but now i'm okay and i'm doing my thing <laughs> the only thing i would say is that applying it with a brush gave us a better result today and using a primer since we didn't use a primer today i already see my nose kind of like gone it's just the tip of my nose but the actual face looks really really good so that's always a good thing so let's touch up and see really quick see how all this like i'm no longer shiny look even my eyebrows missing it's these oils they come attack <laughs> just kidding i don't mind having oily skin you see look at this look at this I just love it. I think it's great. It's only 29 bucks. It comes in a bunch of shades. I am either the shade 38 neutral or 40 neutral. I think either one would work best. Let me know your thoughts. Do you plan on getting it? The VIB sale is going on until April 11th, I believe. So it's on sale. We love a good sale. And gastadas, where? We were gastadas yesterday. Well, you know, I explained that already. <laughs> I had such a good time reviewing this product. I love Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty does makeup very, very well. Latina owned, woman owned. And yeah, I love it. I think it's bomb. And I love you guys even more. Let me know your thoughts. You guys know we're always in the comments to chat it up. And I love you guys again so, so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.